Hey YouTube man, it's your boy Nero back with another update. You know what I'm saying? Make sure to subscribe, like and share for more content. You feel what I'm saying? But hey man, shout out to Doug. Y'all go check his videos. He's a nice man. And he always bring bangers. Hey man, so like yeah, let's let's get started with today's update, man. Yo. It is massive. This is massive news. Trump's bond by corrupt Letitia James, the amount that he has to pay, just got slashed in half, which I Ooh. believe proves it's corrupt. It's, it's, it's an admittance of guilt already. Preemptively, Trump just won half of the amount. Gone. Let's read an article on this, and then I'll wrap up with Kevin O'Leary at the end. But welcome to Doug in Exile. Once again... Trump wins. He keeps winning. Shout out to He's Doug, going to bro. Keep Shout out to Doug. And this is going to be beautiful, guys. They're not going to get him. That's the big news. If you're still on board, let us know in the comments below. Say, I'm still here. I still believe. I'm still we're here. We're still going to win. I Welcome still to believe. Exile. We're still going to win. Here's the villains at NBC News reporting a headline. New York appeals court reduces Trump's bond in his civil fraud case to $175 million a victory for the former president. That's NBC News, guys. That's the bad guys. That's Sauron. That's Mordor. Hold on, I'm cooking, I'm, I'm cooking. Let me, let me just check my pot, let me just check my pot. Let me check my pot real quick. Yes, sir. I'm back. I'm back here. Yeah, I'm back here. Yeah. I was just checking my pot to see if I'm not burning because, like, you know, I'm a very good cooker, so I don't want to make no mistake. Uh, let, let's, let's continue. That's NBC News, guys. That's the bad guys. That's Sauron. That's Mordor. Mordor. That's the devil. They're going a victory <laughs> for devil. Trump. So if you're sitting there glum and going, eh, nothing's going to change. <laughs> everything's bad. Everything's terrible. Take the victory, guys. Take the win. Let's Take throw that. some confetti. Woot, 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 woot. The court also gave Trump an additional 10 days to post the bond, which the former president said Monday he would pay. Here we go. A state appeals court ruled that Donald Trump and his co-defendants in New York civil fraud case have 10 days to post a $175 million bond, down from 464. That's slashed less than half kids. Uh, that was originally due Monday when they tried gouging and manipulating Trump. This is beautiful. I love it. The 11th hour ruling from a panel of state appellate division judges. Okay, so they, they sent it up to the appellate court, a bunch of different judges. I'm shocked. These guys are helping Trump. I, I figured they say you're guilty and you get the death penalty is what I expect from New York scumbag judges. But no, they're going, guys, this is an embarrassment. What Letitia James and Judge Angeron did, we can't stand behind. It won't hold. We look too stupid, and Trump is going to win the presidency. They go, we have to pretend like we're more fair. The 11th hour ruling from a panel of state appellate uh, division judges, all appointed by Democrat governors, guys. These are the Democrats. Why are they giving Trump a break? is a major victory and relief for the former president whose attorneys had said coming up with a larger bond was a, quote, practical impossibility. That is, and by the way, by the Democrats changing this topic, they have agreed with that statement in action, okay? The ruling also means State Attorney General Letitia James's office cannot yet begin collecting on the judgment. So was she ever gonna get Trump Tower? She thought so, but oh, keep your grubby hands off his property for just a few more seconds, you Marxist, you redistributionist of wealth. Quote, I greatly respect the decision of the appellate division, and I'll post the $175 million in cash or bonds or security or whatever is necessary very quickly within the 10 days. And I thank the appellate division for acting quickly, said Trump. He thanked him in front of a camera after he left a New York courtroom uh, for a hearing in the hush money case. Now, before Monday's ruling, Trump was liable for $454 million. Most of the fraud judgment from that amount he owed had been increased by more than $111,000 a day because of added interest. Trump claimed on social media Friday, 
He, he had nearly 500 million in cash, so he said he would pay it. That's where we're at on that. Okay, hold on. Why do I think this happened? Kevin O'Leary is going to tell you, this was going to destroy New York. And Democrats said as much. They said, you know, this is what this appellate court did. We can't let you do this, Letitia James and Angeron, you morons. <laughs> this is the morons. Democrats going, what are you doing? Is You're blowing our whole game against Trump winning. We have to look reasonable. Here's Kevin O'Leary on Fox News. What's going on now is concerning financial markets all around the world because in the United States and everybody, what, I don't care what color you are, red or blue or independent, doesn't matter. We are the bastion of safety when it comes to investing large pools of capital. That's what America represents. We have property rights. We have an appellate system. We have law people trust. And we give you good returns with the least amount of resistance. And now all that's gone to poo poo. But he did say something interesting. We have an appellate system. Guys, this is what the appellate system is for. In case you're wondering, why do all these court cases take so long? Why do they bump it up and just appeal everything? Because bad decisions come from psychos like Engeron and Letitia James all the time. That you have to have an appellate, higher court, more sober, more judicious, probably more careful of the law just by their very nature of existence, even when they're appointed by Democrats. They have a different job. I'll let Kevin O'Leary wrap this up. Happening in New York is tainting the American brand. I mean, seizing assets after 22 days? In a bankruptcy court, you get years to resolve this. This is not a good look on New York. It doesn't matter this Trump. It could be anybody. I think that's very bad for the American brand. And I also would argue that you think about if this is going to help New Yorkers, they should be asking for better management. Yeah, this is a big save for New York. These are Democrats just trying to save New York as a money-making institution. Kevin O'Leary nails it. Love to hear what you guys think. Hope you've subscribed. I'm Doug in exile. Hey, man. Don't miss one episode. Make sure subscribe, like, and share. It's done. It's done. It's done. I didn't mean to cut him off. Okay, let me just finish. My people. Yeah, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's like six minutes and two. <laughs> but hey, man, hey, man, comment down below what you guys think of this. What do you guys think about this video, man? Make sure subscribe, like, like, and share. So I can keep on, you know, bringing more, more, uh, so I can keep on bringing more, more updates, more news, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get me to 10,000 subscribers, bro. Once I get 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be grinding like a motherfucker. But hey, man, thank you guys for watching again. See you in the next. I think I'm burning my food. But yeah, see you in the next video. You know what I'm saying?